Today we are installing Lauren's Aquin's gift sculpture. For me, that's the ad bit. One, two, three, lift. It's action packed, it doesn't stop. Oh, she looks incredible. Good morning. Passion is about space and time. Always champagne. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Today we are installing Lawrence Aquin's gift sculpture at Rosewood London. Two hands, one male and one female, offering an olive tree. It's all about us giving back to nature, whatever we stole from it. That is right. That is right. For me, that's the hard bit. And now what are we doing? Take this off, unpace it, hands here, an olive tree, put it in the hands and go home. Good morning, Sarah, how are you? Good, good. What time is it? It's 4.50. <laughs> Lovely, there, right? isn't it? Yeah. The time to start today. It's Freeze Week. It's one of my favourite weeks. Like every single art company is putting on the best possible show, international clients and partners are traveling to embrace the art scene of London. So where's it supposed to be? Right Let's in go. between those trees, in front of that door. When visitors come in, it's right. We've been very ambitious. We've imported a pretty large caption. It's huge. It's massive. We've displayed right in the front of the Rose Road. In the middle, there's an olive tree. Hot Freeze is something that feels a very human, universal message. On purpose, we wanted to make sure that it felt relevant within the chaotic times that we are going through. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? <laughs> Good, how are you guys? You look like just arrived. It's just super exciting. Yeah. This is very exciting. How is this gonna finish in three hours? I know. It looks like a lot, but I went and handpicked this olive tree from a place that gets retired olive trees. They're done making their olives. Ah, okay. So I'm very excited to see my friend, the olive tree. Are you can give him a name? Ooh. He's from Spain, right? Jorge? <laughs> yeah, I'll think of a really good name. Give me some time and some coffee. Are you sure everything's going to be fine today? There's one thing. If this beautiful pot will fit into the sculpture or not, it is fitting. We did every single measurement, but I don't want any surprises. If it doesn't fit, what's going to happen? Lucy and I dig this thing. <laughs> Am I looking worried? The box is open. Big moment. It's, right now, it's, it's a lot it's bigger Christmas than it actually is. Here, right now. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I love a time lapse. Yeah. Very excited about it. One of the unveiling time lapse of the actual in-store as well. Double time lapse today. No so talking needed, Richard. If this was the charades episode, you'd be like, give by Lorenzo Quinn. <laughs> Here we go. And out. Ta -da. Oh, you've done this before, you're so I good at this. Content. <laughs> it looks really beautiful. I'm really relieved that the diameter looks pretty large. At what time Pret opens? <laughs> How are you going to do it? Are you going to lay it flat and then physically carry it? Or back? Carry it. <laughs> hey, you look pretty strong. So well, while gonna... we've got this thing here, I don't know why we can't use that. Gonna... No one's physically carrying them. I'm like, just pick it up, mate. One, two, three, lift. That looks really beautiful. So beautiful. Stunning. That was like a bit of a heart jerker, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm terrified that that's going to go Let's wrong. See. Oh, Richard. Yeah. Five minutes. Until when? Pret opens. Are we going to have some pret? Is it the cheese and tomato yeah, croissant? Cheese and tomato croissant, croissant is so beautiful. So is that good? Yeah, it's so yeah. good. We didn't measure here. That's the length the we did. The width is the, the these corners. Basically, it doesn't fit in here. Oh, in this bit. Where did you measure? We obviously seen a lot of images of the sculpture. However, we've never seen those in 3D format. It's been shipped from Spain. We opened the crate. We moved the sculpture into the place. We realized that it's actually wider. A few variations of the sculpture. One is the wrist together this is one is like this wrists open so when wrists open we have an additional way to cover it's not a problem it fits perfectly right. it was just like a small uh, but it's all work well it worked out in the end yes it did it did i was like it's scratched and i realized it's a signature is it that way that one's not open they're like five prets they're like rats aren't they they're no further than 10 foot from a rat or a pret in london <laughs> it's open it's open what time is it now 6 30. the sculpture is unwrapped so not far now nearly there yeah. We're about halfway through. Do we have to be out for any certain time? It's at eight. I reckon it's all going to be fine. It always is in the end. All we need is a little bit of humour. And friendship. Friendship. Yeah. And go. coffee. Perfect shot. A single bird flying from the sunset. Can you do a David Attenborough voice? And here we see the lesser spotted seagull <laughs> flying from the sun looking for its young. Here we go. It's the moment. How are you feeling? This is the moment. It's quite scary, right. but also special. It's nice. I mean, the end of every project is like this. Where the dream becomes reality. It's only a little snippet of what we're going to have in Qatar. As you place it in, the heavier side comes forward into the hands. Well, what's the fault? So that comes front. Yeah. So this is the front. I would put it up higher. I will put it up probably like the pot's coming till here. Yeah. I would try and get three oh. more inches. Maybe we need just like a timber platform. All right, I'll get some more timber. Okay, yeah. that'll be lovely. Which job's worth doing. It's worth doing well. Yes. Is it the right height now? Yeah, now we just need to make yeah. sure it's the right orientation. I think we're going to have to unwrap it though. Zina, what are you thinking? It looks so good. It actually looks incredible. It looks like it was born here. It does, doesn't it? It fits right in. It does look like it's lived here for a while. So you're happy? Very happy. We're happy, happy. Waiting for Lorenzo to sign off now. I've sent him a photo. We'll wait for him to, to give us a thumbs up.
Lucy, what's just happened? Lorenzo has said it also looks amazing, which is very good news. That's why we do this, to have happy artists. Okay, guys, it's installed. It looks great. How does everybody feel? Tired. Tired, but <laughs> I'm very it. happy. Right. Lorenzo is very happy. The lorry is going out. The cars are coming in. Everything is back it to normal. It was like it was born here. <laughs> exactly. I'll see you later. Thank have you a great so day. much, Bye, Richard. Bye, guys. You know what, Richard? It's that time of the year. Freeze, right? Freeze week. It's like art week in London. Pad started on Monday. Freeze started yesterday. 154 starts today. So things are crazy and for you right now, right? Absolutely. What are we doing right now? We're going to visit my lovely collector, Kate Duhamel. She saw a piece by Leo Cayar, fell in love immediately. Okay. So we're going to see one of her pieces and also meet the artist. Oh, wow. Is he here? Yeah. Who is Leo Cayar and what does he do? French artist based in Paris. Sculptures. On the one hand, quintessentially classical, cut in marble from Carrara, Italy. Same sorts Carrera of stuff. Carrara marble, right? Yes. Sounds so much better when you say it. <laughs> so say it one more time. Carrara, oh. uber contemporary. He's exhibited at the Louvre, at the Dali Museum. Just opened up a big exhibition in Sciences Po in Paris. So I can't wait to show you the piece. Well, let's go and have a look. Hi, Kate. Good morning! His captures are incredible and he almost wants to know how, or technically, how it's happened. He's a total draw as an artist, very successful. He's currently staying in my house. I'm sure Rita has many meetings for him, so I'm pretty sure I won't see him much. When she walked in and she just saw your bust and she just fell in love. Who yeah. did this? Yeah. What is this? Tell me about this piece. I did go to school in Italy, so it reminds me of all the Renaissance sculpture, but also I'm a filmmaker and I work mostly with dance and currently mm. I'm producing a show with hip-hop dancers. Wow. So the hip-hop, reference was delightful. Yeah. This is very interesting, the connection that you explained, because I have been doing dancing for more than 12 years. I went into marble sculptures because to me it's, it's moving. You try to find the right shape in yep. something which is not moving by itself, stone, and then you make it alive through the sculpting. And my dance studio gave me a lot of inspiration to do marble sculpture. What kind of dancing are you doing? I did, I did hip hop for six years. Can you do, like, like, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> do some smurfing if you want. <laughs> All my work is all about space and time. I like to make connection between the past, the present and the future. To me, when you dress the statues up, you make it live today. Like almost everything from the past is just very inspiring for what we are today. To me, a classical sculpture is very modern in a way. Mm -hmm. I like to dress it up because then you can see that it's not that far from what you can see in the street or somewhere in your life. And how long did this take you to make? Marble sculptures, it's all about time as well. Uh -huh. You have to yeah. be very patient. <laughs> now that we have modern tools, it, it's a bit easier than uh, in the 17th century, but it's still two to three months uh -huh. to make a piece. What do you like most about his work? Perspective. A big we currently lack perspective. Leo wanted us to look at our past a bit more to kind of understand what was upcoming, how we haven't learned enough historically and how we're producing mistakes on an endless note. We live in a moment where everything is immediate, but actually Leo is begging for perspective. We don't do art to succeed, but I will do it until I can be considered as one of the best sculptures. It's not about ego. I love what I do. I love mm -hmm. stone. I want to push it at the highest level I can. Mm -hmm. What is beautiful in the stone is when you get closer, you realize it's not completely white, you have little veins, details in the stone that makes it a raw natural material. You don't control it as a sculptor. The tricky part is this one. It's important to not go too thin. I could go mm -hmm. thinner, but then it's too dangerous. The hat is very technical. When you start the work on the statue, you can do by eating it mm -hmm. with a hammer. So it's very enjoyable because it goes fast. You can remove a lot of material. But as soon as you get this kind of thickness, you need to be very soft. Yeah, I love that piece. It has been a joy to work on it. Yeah. Like being reunited with an old friend. <laughs> yeah, there is something because I spent some time with, with her when I was working on it. I feel good to see her here. Now she will have a long life of uh, stone sculpture, yeah. so it's inspiring. Kate, that was Thank so you. lovely to see you. How did that go? It's always inspiring as an artist to see your piece in the final place. Sometimes you, you lose the track of it. It's important to meet them and to give some insight of, yeah. of how you do these sculptures. Where are you going now? To 154 Art Fair. I'm going to run around there. Later we'll be going to Lorenzo Queen. All right, well I'll see you there. See you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Marie, Yes. what is new to the office? The NFT of Leo Kaya. Leo Kaya is one of our most successful NFT artist. Something that I really love about him is that he's pairing his physical works with his NFTs. But it really works as a display. So I think it made a huge difference for our collectors because a lot of them were like, I'm not too sure about buying an NFT. Realistically, it's only 5% of the market still. I think your two combined was incredibly strong. I mean, Sam, Sam Love, Love, you've met is. him. I love Sam Love. It's very much about all the in-betweens that are not being said. It's very poetic. It's a constant search without providing any answers. Basically, all the things that deeply irritates my husband is the answer. But I adore. 
still personally. He's done really well. He's currently has a solo show. And what do we have here? Ellie Fritz, very cool. I went to an off-way party last night with TikTok, and I felt like I was twice my age. Those <laughs> things make you feel so old, right? I arrived dressed like this, Richard. Everyone was beyond cool, is the answer. Ellie Fritz is the definition of a cool Gen Z. He's using AI and generated in ages to make work. She's a definition of our young collector's obsession, brand's obsession. She even looks as cool as her artwork. And then there's me looking like conservative. I think you're cool. <laughs> I, don't think so. I don't think you're I this cool, but I think you're I cool. I realise this last night, I was not cool. It's on a scale though, right? You're cooler than me. <laughs> Generally, so. it was the funniest thing, Richard. What's your favourite thing of free so far? I think it's just the joy of seeing the very best of contemporary art in one place. In my job, I look at their art mostly, so I don't get to escape that much. So it's actually such a joy to be able to rediscover artists that you love, like Sophie Kell, who's one of my favourite artists, had an incredible work at Emmanuel Perrotin last night, and just constantly rediscovering. Things. Okay, back to work. We're actually about to close a very good partnership. Can you tell me a thing about it? No, I can't. At least not on camera. Okay, well, good luck. Thank you. Hey, Rita, where are we going now? We're off to the Rosewood Hotel for free with a massive, monumental sculpture installation by Lorenzo Queen. And apparently it's going to be champagne too, is that right? Always champagne. Champagne and cake. Mark, the chef of the Rosewood, has also matched his afternoon tea with a beautiful cake, a sculpture of Lorenzo. Have you tried the cake? Yeah, of course. I mean, actually now I've been told it takes four days to make that cake and it took two months to imagine it totally freak me out. I'm that kind of person that has like so many soaps in the bathroom it's scared to destroy them because they're so pretty. The whole thing is an artwork in itself. Who are we meeting? A lovely collector, Kate. Very passionate about art and aesthetic, particularly drawn to digital art, but also she loves large sculptures. Oh, there he is. There he is. Look at him. I think this is my friend. Hello, hello. Well, hello. Lovely to see you. We're so excited that you all could join. As you know, we have this partnership with Rosewood for free. And this massive a monumental installation with Lorenzo Queen because very much known for his monumental sculptures, support in Venice Biennale, holding the Palazzo facade. It's an enormous sculpture of hands. It was a most shared image a few years back. That's what I love about Lorenzo. It can just inspire crowds. Well, that's the most incredible power because you need, at the minute, a language that unifies everyone. The arts, when they can do that, it's incredibly powerful. Then he did Building Bridges, Venice Biennale 2019. We've just installed this summer Baby 3.0. This one in particular, it's called Give. It's really a polymer. He was an actor, artist, he writes this piece is very much reflective of him installed in the rosewood until the end of the month. Chan Chan! Bye -bye. And with our friend Ruina. Mango in passion fruit jelly, vanilla mousse, and it's also pistachio olive oil cake. Olive oil in a cake? How do you yeah. feel about that? Dipped in passion fruit chocolate. Sounds good. Yeah, I have a sweet tooth, so I'm up for anything. You know, it takes four days to make. Four days? Four days. Is there a patience to do that? I have absolutely no idea. I can't wait to try it. Yeah. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Guys, the cake has arrived. What do you think? It's stunning. It looks like an actual olive, right? It's a work of art, Richard. Piece of art, I'm scared to touch it. How do you even go about eating this? The best thing, to be honest, is to just smash it and then you can dig in. See, that's just divine. How's it taste? Mm. I love it. I can taste matcha. Oh, lovely to meet you. Lovely to lovely see you. Lovely to see you. So Rita, how did that go? That was such a dream. Yummy, delicious, divine. Lovely to talk about art, try some delicious cake and drink some nice bubbles. It was an awful afternoon, wasn't it? <laughs> rubbish, Richard, rubbish. rubbish. So what are you going to do now? Cocktail party, then party at the Italian ambassador's, then dinner at the club. You sound very busy. It's action packed. It doesn't stop. This is free sweet. Well, it I won't keep you. Bye. Take care. Bye. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.